Now this next two, I didn't know what to call this for a long time. Did this here in 2012 at Hill Country. And you know, just growing up around church music and, and choir music and stuff like that, you hear a lot of chord progressions, a lot of the same chord progressions. So this is one that, just a kind of a gospel chord progression, I threw in some little extra things here and there. It was uh, a tune that I just, you can't really get up and play this there's any Sunday morning on church necessarily because people just look at each other and they say, what is this supposed to be? Because they don't recognize it. But it's just a harmonica jam. I, I used to listen to a lot of Buddy Green, Terry McMillan, Charlie McCoy. And so I took those three styles and maybe a little teeny drop of Howard Levy, a couple of his licks in there, and I put all this stuff in a pot and uh, stirred it up and I uh, didn't know what to call it. And so I just called it Sunday Soup because... You know how soup is, you never get the same spoonful of stuff twice. <laughs> so I hope you like it. Some of you know this from, from last time. But here we go. We're driving on the way to church to this meeting. Now, I want you to help me sing a little bit. Uh, 
let me just play this because everybody does this song a little different. There's an old song you probably have heard it saying as well the circle be unbroken. Uh, you may have heard it saying lots of different lyrics, but this song says glory, glory, hallelujah. Since I laid my burdens down, now it's real easy. Well, this is, this is how we did it. Now, so I'm going to teach you how we did it, so when I point to you, see it. You can help me. There's a guitar solo in here. When the guitar solo comes in, we're going to have to just sing and drown him out. But it goes like this. Glory, glory.
ushers. <laughs> uh, we'd like for our ushers to come here. We're going to receive an offering. <laughs> uh, remember Sanford and Son, the Reverend Sanford, remember that? He, 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 uh, I don't know if you remember that, he, he preached a sermon, you know, and he said, now let's get down to business and pass the plate. <laughs> We're not going to pass the plate. Yeah. I do have some CDs, so if you, uh, if you weren't here in 2012 or if you haven't seen me at Spa, yeah. take them on. Usually $15, but $10 today. I don't feel like messing with change, and I know you probably bought lots of raffle tickets, so $10 today. It says practice religiously. <laughs> What else we got here now? You can't come all the way to Mississippi and not play a train song, right? You can't call yourself a harmonica player and not play a train song. So, let's see if I can get this train going. Geo, Geo, Geo. Andrew Zajac fixed my low E golden melody. He put it in one of his nice flat coals. So if you have not got a cold yet, stop back there because these are nice and flat. And he, uh, everything's nice and flat. It plays better just from the little bit of work that he did on it. So this song, now, now Andy Griffith saying, you get a line and I'll get a pole, honey. You get a line and I'll get a pole, babe. You get a line and I'll get a pole. We're not going down to the crowd now. Right? Uh, but then, Little Walter say, my babe, no stand, no cheat, my babe, right? So, same melody. Then I think it was Sister Rosetta Tharp that, that kind of brought it back home and said, this train is bound for glory, this train. So, I don't know if she wrote it, but I think it's just an old traditional tune. And uh, so here's, here's the way it goes. This train is bound for glory, this train. This train is bound for glory, this train. This train is bound for glory now. If you ride, you gotta be over. Now, everybody, this is one of them songs we can just make up words, you know. And my old pastor, you know, he was strict, and uh, but he loved this song. So sometimes we get to play this in church, and he'd start making up verses. Well, this train don't carry no liars. This train, and he'd make it all right. Okay, he get excited. Well, this train don't carry no cheaters. This train, he'd make that right come up with all kinds of stuff, just pulling stuff out of the air, you know. This train don't carry no rambles. This train don't carry no rambles. This train don't carry no rambles. He'd make up so many verses, you know, we'd be playing. By the time he got through, we'd kind of look. There'd be nobody left on the train. <laughs> he'd just call up everybody, but uh, yeah, he, was, he, he was funny. But uh, my favorite verse is, anyone can ride this train, this train. So we're all going to take a ride on the train, bound for glory. Let's see if we can get this cranked up with my low E. Low E and a, and a regular. Here we go.
Don't go run out of steam. This is not the Orange Blossom Special. This is not the Wabash Cannonball. And it sure ain't old 97. This train is bound for glory. The Bible says the Lord Himself is going to descend from heaven with a shout, and the trump of God is going to sound like this. more of an instrumental piece or a quartet tune and uh, and they you know you can play but they don't appreciate the harmonica, harmonica parts this is a country tune harmonica I'm using on this song it's uh, usually a piano instrumental and so I want to work up a good version on harp and it's got some fast changes so I hope I can do it but it's called goodbye world goodbye so I got a country tune F country tune F sharp But these licks, these licks, these, you'll see. Give it a try. Wow. Thank <laughs> you. 
In the morning, yeah, yeah, mostly. <laughs> what kind of coffee do you drink? First question. Second question. I don't know how much you love sound like that. Yeah, that's a good question. Well, you know, sometimes, you know, let me show you. Do you all mind if I show you the, the no, chain? I'm, I'm kind of joking, but I'm very serious. But this is, this is a cool tune because uh, the country tuned harmonica. Uh, we all love Phil Duncan at Spa. We pick on him. I do about country tune harmonicas, but there are so many possibilities with it just from changing that one note. So let me, uh, let me see if I can squeeze this. It's a little bit of country tuning and a little bit of overblowing going on to get these changes. Okay, but. Uh, Let's see. So this song's in C. Da, 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 da. Okay. But when it goes to that little verse part, it, it walks up from the C to this chord. Now I'm not going to call out all the names of the chords, but, but uh, just listen. So when it goes here. So that, I will tell you, this first chord walks up from the C to an E. With the country tune and harmonica, when it goes to that E chord, you can do all draw notes if you want to. That's not what I'm doing, but you can, and it sounds like this. It's all draw notes, just from changing that one note. So I just kind of took that chord slowly, and I added some notes in. tune or not, but tells the truth. Everybody wants to go to heaven, but nobody wants to die. Oh, thanks, man. It's on my CD. It might sound like a bullfrog singing it this morning, but that's all right. We're here to listen to the harmonica. No. 
I got so many friends here. S lots of Skype students. Where's my Skype? I know I don't want to ask a raise your hand. Huh? But there's one. My disciples. I see you back there, Buzz and Marcel. Yeah, that's my, my friend. I don't want to start calling names, but uh, yeah, my, just my apostles. <laughs> I'll talk harps a little bit. Let me just play one or two. You know, I don't have a chance to talk about Jericho, but I'll tell you a story about that. Uh, Buddy Green, we all know Buddy Green, most of us. If you don't, check him out. He had a version of Joshua Fault to Battle of Jericho on an album called Praise Harmonica. I think it's out of print. But recently he put a thing on Facebook where he found a bunch of them and they were $10. He found some still in plastic, so if you can get it, it's called Praise Harmonica. It's just harmonica, very little singing, just harmonica. And he uses many different harps. Well, I was 13 years old, maybe 14, and somebody gave me his album, and there was a song, Joshua Fought the Battle of Jericho. And, and uh, I couldn't figure it out. It was in D minor. And so I thought, well, it must be a minor tuned harp. This was before we could Google everything. Must be a minor tuned harp, so I went to the store and ordered a natural minor. And that wasn't it. So I said, oh, it must be a harmonic minor. I saw that in the catalog. That must be it. So I bought the harmonic minor. And that didn't work either. And then I looked at the front of the cassette and it was playing a chromatic. Ah. I said, it must be a chromatic. So I went and bought a $100 chromatic, you know, 13, 14 years old. And I was even more frustrated because that wasn't it. So I kind of just gave up on it for a while. Couldn't figure it out. And he was playing it D minor. And then a few years went by and I saw him at this event and he was selling his CDs. I said, hey, when you get them, you know, we've all, we've all been, when you get just a minute, can I just ask you a question? You know, can I, can I just, when you finish selling your merchandise, can I just talk harps with you a little bit? Sure. So I got to ask him, while we played a little jam together, I got to ask him my question. I said, what are you doing on Joshua Fault the Battle of Jericho? Sounded like this. <laughs> I said, you're kidding. He said, no, I just started on the tube low. It was fifth position. I, well, I didn't know what fifth position was, but, but he... So he said, you do like this. He said, then there's two bent notes. And then back. So I started playing through it. And I said, wait a minute, wait a minute. He was in a hurry. I said, what, what, there's one last thing. There's a lick that you do at the end of this song. It goes... I said, there's a lick. How do you do that? He said, oh, you mean this? I said, yeah, how do you do that? He said, well, keep practicing. You'll get it. <laughs> so, now maybe one of these days, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll put that up. But this is, uh, you know, I played this in Hill Country 2012, and I didn't know that it would get as much attention. If you're going to do a gospel album, you have to put Amazing Grace on there. And so uh, I put this on there because you just have to, you know. And uh, and I didn't realize that how much people request this one. So I'm going to do it. In fact, it was your grandmother. That's your grandmother. And she's still with us, but she was 92, right? She'll be 99. And there's a picture of her. Yeah. And, and so I sat down and she wanted me to play Amazing Grace for her. So I, I did it. And, uh, I was hoping she'd be here this time, but I understand if she's 99, we'll let it slide. <laughs> Amazing grace.
Uh, he didn't really think this, but the collection plate's coming around, you guys. So grab your wallets. Let's give Todd some uh, gas money. Huh? <laughs> All right. Hallelujah. Second position on a D flat and then to an F sharp part. Say, so why do you pick those keys? Because they just sound good, like the gospel they sound. You know, the flat sharps and flats have a nice mood. So that's why I picked them. I could have done it with C harmonica, but to me, C harmonica is good, but sometimes it's like you want something besides vanilla ice cream. You know, different flavors. Grace in the first position. Now I think, uh, I'm not sure what the, I know I'm supposed to be with you for a couple hours, so I think we're just going to, yeah, so I think we're going to, if you want to take a restroom break or something, then we'll just talk hearts, and uh, I want to actually get you to play some stuff. So uh, if, you, if you take a little break, or if you need to take a break, use the restroom, get your hearts, get a C harp, and... Uh,